प्रोग्राम में आगे बढ़ते हैं और अब आपकी मुलाकात एक ऐसे पाकिस्तानी निजात ब्रिटिश से करवाते हैं इनाम अहमद से जो कि मोटर स्पोर्ट्स के हवाले से आठ आलमी मुकाबले अपने नाम कर चुके हैं और यूरोप न्यूजीलैंड जापान कई चैंपियनशिप्स अपने नाम कर चुके हैं चौदह साल की उम्र में रिकॉर्ड बनाने शुरू किए थे और फिर फार्मूला थ्री रेसिंग के चैंपियन भी बने और अमेरिका में मुख्तलिफ जो रेसिंग के मुकाबले इसमें टॉप पोडियम जीतने वाले पहले पाकिस्तानी भी हैं और पाकिस्तान में जो रेसिंग स्पोर्ट्स है उसके हवाले से काफ़ी ज़्यादा कोशिश भी कर रहे हैं इनाम इनाम हमारे साथ इस वक्त मौजूद हैं थैंक यू सो मच इनाम एन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी लाइक टू आस्क यू अबाउट योर जर्नी वेन डिड यू स्टार्ट रेसिंग So I started racing back when I when I was eight years old, okay. um, just with my little go kart, and then uh, I worked my way up. Uh, by the time I was thirteen or fourteen, I was world champion in go karting, and European champion as well. And then by the time I was sixteen, seventeen, I was racing into Formula Three, into into racing cars, and then um, and then I worked my way up, racing in Europe, uh, racing in Japan, and now uh, racing in America as well. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, if we talk about uh, all these countries that you have mentioned, they have got the complete racing structure. So, have you been training in uh, in, in in UK or you've been training in Pakistan as well? Because in Pakistan, we don't have uh, any such resources. I think you've been there since this whole journey uh, passed. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, any driver uh, from around the world, if they want to become the best, they have to come to Europe. So that's why I came to Europe. And from a young age, I was racing uh, all over Europe. But the main focus, the main hub, is in the UK. So, what does it so, take for a driver to be a good racer? Like to, uh, you know, the kind of uh, achievements you have done so far, uh, they're not possible, uh, you know, in just a shorter period of time. So, uh, what does it take for a racer to be at that stage where you are right now? Um, a lot of commitment and never giving up when things go hard, and a lot of bravery. Because to be a racing car driver. And to be a high-level racing car driver, a lot of it is about commitment, dedication, bravery, and you know everything you've got. Okay, now how many competitions have you won, and how many championships have you won, and how does it feel? Um, I've won in my life about eight championships. I was wow. world and European champion at 14. Okay. I was the British Formula Three champion when I was 17. Um, and now I'm racing. Well, then I race in Japan. Now I'm racing in America. In total, in my car racing career, I've won 28 individual races. Okay. And um, and yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good, but there's still a long way to go. Definitely, yes, totally. definitely. So, uh, when actually we just try to speed up our cars, sometimes whenever it crosses like 120, 140, we start feeling panic a bit, or sometimes you know hearts <laughs> starts beating fast. <laughs> But you guys used to drive, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, like more than 200, 300 kilometers and miles per hour or something. Uh, so, how does it feel, and how how do you manage? Do you need a specific training for this as well to be in that particular speed? No, I think you just have to be born with it, and you just have to be have a screw loose in your head. To be able to <laughs> push a car that hard all the time, um, but it's something I enjoy, and I really believe it was I was born to do this because, you know, I, nothing in the world gives me the same fulfillment as driving a racing car on the limit, and um, this is what I want to do, and this is what I want to become the best in the world in, and inshallah, I would like to go. Inshallah, you'll be the best. And I'm definitely you'll be the best. What are your future plans? So my future plans is I would like to race in IndyCar. IndyCar is the number one racing series yeah. in the United States, and I would love to win that and be the first Pakistani to do so in America. And then, um, inshallah, if there's an opportunity, I'd like to go to. I'm sure you can do that. One more important thing regarding our own country, because there are so many youngsters who might be watching you right now. Uh, you'd be quite inspiring for them. Uh, are you doing something uh, for, for the youngsters in Pakistan to to be into this racing adventure and sports? And uh, is there is there any plan in your mind to work in Pakistan for this particular sports? Well, for motorsports it will be hard, but I know that in Pakistan there's a lot of go-karting tracks, and that's where I started. And I'd love to start like an academy by the time I go there uh, in September and December. And also, I think in Pakistan, you know, the biggest motivation for me as a Pakistani driver is to prove to the world and to all Pakistanis that given opportunity, any Pakistani can become the best in the world. 
because you know I really believe there's so much talent in this country, oh, yeah. but unfortunately there's no opportunity mm, to use yeah. this talent, yeah. which is exactly. a shame. We feel, so we, we, we feel, feel so proud you know, uh, that that you are a Pakistani and you're talking to us and you have uh, such great plans. Our all best wishes are with you since it's Good luck. it's the game full of uh, lots of you know danger and lots of risks. Uh, so still we wish you good luck for Pakistan Thank and for you your own self. Thank you so and, uh, much and for your time journey. and we wish you a very best of luck your future adventures. Thank you so much. And I'm Ahmed Amaya Shat Maujood and we're going to talk about it. We'll take a break. 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 We'll take a break